Hey, um, so I decided to try this whole video vlog post again, and I realized last time when I was talking about my post that vlog is remarkably awkward to say out loud. It's only a word you can actually type. Um, so I'm going to decide, <laughs> I decided to do vlogs as, um, a punishment for myself if, um, I don't post a blog once a day, which is one of my goals for this summer, um, then I'm going to have to do a video post. Um, it's not so much that I hate showing myself, it's just that I have to get my camera and my camera box and everything that goes with it out of my closet. And that's not very much fun. I just organized my closet today. I'm in the middle of unpacking, so it takes me a while to unpack. I not only unpack, I organize. So there's a bunch of stuff on my bed right now. You can see that. Um, and I'm also organizing shelves and desks and things as it goes along. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, when I do video logs, I'll just talk about stuff that happened rather than writing about stuff that happened. Um, so stuff that happened. Yesterday, I thought I was going to have a job opportuni opportunity. I'm still on the job hunt because I need money if I'm going to do this whole internship thing next summer. Um, and so I found out about this marketing company and they sounded really great. I called them, they got back to me within two hours. Um, however, uh, I looked them up and thought it looked fine. My grandpa looked them up this morning. I thought it was going to be just him being a little protective, but, um, no, they charge, it, they're basically the marketing side of, um, a company that sells cutlery. Um, he was worried about going door to door to people's houses. I didn't care so much about that. It was just that I had to pay $150 up front for the demonstration kit. Um, and then I was paid a base rate, not $15 per hour, which I made tutoring last year but $15 per appointment I made. So I wasn't even guaranteed I was gonna be paid and the training, three days worth of training was unpaid and it just didn't sound very lucrative, especially if like I got caught up in my summer and uh, besides I didn't have to come into an office so it was gonna be a lot more difficult to keep up with myself. I can get motivated but I have to write stuff down. Um, so I had to cancel that appointment, kind of lied to them and said I already had a job at American Eagle also turned me down because of their regular college kids. Um, so tomorrow I'm going on a massive job hunt. Um, I'm going to spend the rest of tonight working out resumes, um, figuring out things like that. Basically I'm going to be going to about two minutes across the road to a restaurant. Um, then I'm going to Chesterfield Town Center Mall, I'm going to Regency Square Mall. If you're not from the Richmond area, um, I would say that the entire commute round trip will be about an hour and a half tomorrow. That's if traffic's bad, but then there's all of the filing applications and things like that in between, so uh, tomorrow's gonna be fun. Um, yeah, so if that's what's going on. Um, Oh, and aside from that, my friend Anna from school, um, she, one of her first things this summer was getting her wisdom teeth out. I think that happened today. I'm a little shady on dates. I've only been out of school a couple of days and I'm forgetting dates, but Anna, if you had your teeth out today, if you had them out, have them out tomorrow, whatever, good luck. I hope you feel better. I'm sure you will. Right now you're up on the good drugs. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And hopefully you won't be seeing my face for a while because I'll be typing. But if you do, I'll see you around. Thanks for listening.